Well, you know, I've changed over the years. Uh, I started bodybuilding in 1990, and I just steadily progressed since then. So it, it makes me feel that, you know, all my hard work is really paying off. It really motivates me to go to the gym every day. It really motivates me when I have to do certain things. So it's just a combination of hard work and dedication all paying off. All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, do I got a banger of a video for you today. And as the title reads, we're going to do it on the big King Ronnie Coleman at the 1998 Mr. Olympia. And I know a lot of you guys have seen this version of Big Ron before, but you've never seen it in 1080p HD, and you've never seen it on Mikey's Iron Rage. So I figure, let's go back to 1998 and enjoy this beautiful posing routine of the King, Ronnie Coleman, at the night show. Even though, in my opinion, I think he might have looked a little bit better in prejudging, but nonetheless, what a fucking performance. He just nailed it. Now, the difference between Ronnie Coleman in, let's say, 1996 or 1997 compared to 1998 was that Ronnie was mm, a little more paper thin skinned and more ripped in 1998. He was tighter looking in 1998. He always had a film of water like throughout his physique from 1997 under. You know what I mean? And from 1998 on, he was just on. I mean, 1998 to 2005, he won eight Olympias. Just a thing of fucking beauty, I tell you. And that's because Kevin Lavroni and Flex Wheeler showed Big Ron the secrets of using diuretics and whatever else they were using. He came into that 1999 Mr. Olympia even better, tighter, and more streamlined. That's definitely my favorite version of Ronnie Coleman. And you could tell he was using a shitload of diuretics in 1998, 1999, and every other fucking year. But I would say the 2001 Arnold Classic would be my second favorite. And then my third favorite would be the 1998 Mr. Olympia. And those are my three favorite years for the big king Ronnie Coleman. But guys, look at this freak of nature. At five foot eleven, almost two hundred and sixty pounds, just a fucking thing of beauty. He weighed exactly the same weight as uh, Dorian Yates did. His legs could have been a little more cut and a little more deeply, uh, not deeply separated, but just a little more separated in the quad department. I never noticed that. I think Ronnie Coleman, like I said, looked a little bit better in prejudging. But otherwise, his physique is absolutely flawless. And when you see it in HD... There is no comparing it to, let's say, 360p or 240p or even 480p or even 720p. This is 1080p. I mean, this is ridiculous footage right here. And I want to shout out my boy Dom at Dom's Bodybuilding for the footage. And look at those fucking, look at those alien-esque cams and glutes. The glutes are actually as wide as his upper back. That's insane. The, the, the changes that he made from 1997 to 1998 were just mind-blowing. But look at his quads. His quads can definitely be more separated and more deeply cut, in my opinion. But 1999, he just nailed it. His quads looked ridiculous in 1999. And he was a little heavier in 1999. But he doesn't really have too much of a bubble gut. 1999, his gut was in more, you know... It was in check a little bit more. But look at this crab most muscular. Unbelievable. I mean, Ronnie Coleman is going to go down as the best bodybuilder in the world. Best bodybuilder ever. Then I would say Dexter Jackson, just because Dexter Jackson has like 30 fucking professional wins under his belt. But guys, let me know what you think about the big King Ronnie Coleman at the 1998 Mr. Olympia. Because I think he looks fantastic. Besides, like I said, the uh, cuts in the quads... He is flawless, absolutely flawless. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that Kevin Lavroni icon button. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.